Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 29th, 2024's Hex Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our stars here at Gas HQ, so why my name is Bill Murphy. It is my pleasure, my honor to be solving this movie. Um, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person reading this. You can find the link to today's puzzle in the description. You will also find hat times. Uh, Hat times are a measure of how fast you are solving these puzzles. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, um, you may be going, or regular viewers of the channel may be going, Bill, what's up? What, what's with your face? And the answer is nothing. Everything's fine. In fact, I literally went out in public like this, uh, no less than, uh, 90 minutes ago because I decided I wasn't going to pay for delivery. Um, so that being said, let's, uh, let's get into this one. This is X Sudoku. Now, uh, normal Sudoku rules may not necessarily apply in the way that you think. So I'm going to bring up Clover's version of the rules. And that is fill the digits with one to seven so that each outline seven cell region contains each digit exactly once and digits never repeat in rows or columns. Uh, now, you may go, hey, what is a row or a column in the context of a puzzle like this? Well, um, if I go to surface, the, uh, hey, this is a row, right? But then we can't really go up or down. Well, yeah, we can. Um, so digits will not repeat along here, but if we're getting even spicier, digits also won't repeat along there. Or, or, digits won't repeat along like that as well. So we have to scan in three directions. Um, because I have a feeling that, uh, you know, that might be what you're here for. Um, but, other than that, uh, I really like today's puzzle. Uh, if you are one of the people that normally solves this via on your mobile, maybe just break out the laptop for this one. It's it's going to save your life a lot more. Um, all right, let's get into it. I'm going to restart the call. Not that it really, truly matters. Um, and yeah, let's do it. Now, um, what's the only digit that can go here? That's a four. Um, over here, this has to be six or seven. This has to be two. Now, we have to place a few digits. So let's do that. Uh, we need to place three, four, and five along here. Three, four, and five along here. Um, and then we need to place, oy, oy, oy. Uh, we need to place uh, three, four, and five along here. Now, um, this can't have a five like that. And this can't have a three uh, because of that one and that direction. Oh, sorry, my bad. That's a six, that's a seven. Uh, so that's that's the direction I'm scanning this in. Uh, one rules one out of this cell, so that's two and one. Uh, and now, uh, uh, where's seven go in well, seven can't go there, so seven must be there. Now, three can't go in those uh, two re cells, so three must go here. Takes three out of here. Now, one scanning down here can't go in that cell, so one has to go here. Now, this these two cells have to be three and four because they cannot contain a five. Five must go here, which knocks five out of here, making that a four. This becomes a three. This is a and this is five. Now, put a four in there because that's the only digit left that can go in that cell. And this is a four, which is the only digit that can go in that cell. Now, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, in what is one of the most bizarre naked singles you might see for a while, uh, this I'm looking specifically at this cell. Uh, it cannot contain one, two, three, four, five, or seven. Uh, making that a six. Uh, one, two, three, and five left to place in this row. And, oh, uh, never mind. But knowing Clover, what if I just try it randomly that cell? 
Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, one, four, three, five, seven, and six means that, that I can put a two. Ah, and now where does two go in this region? Well, two can't go in any of those cells, and two goes down there. So, uh, C's down there, so that must be two. Uh, three, five, six, and seven. Uh, oh, three, six, see those two cells, meaning that this, this is three and six, but this six over here sees that cell. That's three and that's six. Um, five, seven left to place here. Five, seven over here. Uh, I can probably pull the exact same nonsense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can. One, four, five, uh, one, four, seven, three, two. Uh, that cell cannot be six, so that must be five and then six. Uh, where's two go in this region? That's a two. Uh, and then this is one and three. Uh, one and three. Uh, 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 one, three, and seven left in place in this region. So, ah, uh, and that sees a one and a three. So this is seven. Uh, one and three. Four sees these two cells. So four can't, uh, four must go there. Five up here, two and five. Um, and that five looks all the way down here. So that's seven, five, seven. Up above. Oh, there's going to be a one or a three looking somewhere. One and three. Uh, only digit left to place in this row is four, then five. And then this is a one, six pair. So that's going to be so three, one. Three, three, one. Then this sixth over here is one and six. So that was Hex Sudoku by Clover. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.